There's currently an active NPM supply chain attack going under the name of Shai Halud. This is impacting hundreds of NPM packages as the attack behaves as a worm-like malware that spreads to more packages over time. It is an ongoing incident that the Sneak Security Research Team is monitoring and providing updates on as more information is confirmed. If you're wondering if and how you might be impacted by this attack, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. One of the quickest ways to identify this zero day vulnerability across all your projects is through Sneak's featured zero day report. You can access it via the reports view, switching the report from the change report dropdown and selecting featured zero day report. And by default, you should see that the Shai Halud NPM supply chain attack option is selected, but if not, you can open up this drop down here and select it as well. Once that report is run, you'll see whether or not you have any open issues remaining that are related to the zero day vulnerability. In this case, we can see I have one project that is impacted by this as we scroll down and I can see the specific issues related to it. If I click on the project, that'll bring me to this view here, the package JSON for that project and show me exactly how this vulnerability is being introduced into my project. In this case, it is this native script community NPM package. Now, in some cases, there will be a remediation path for you to fix a new version of that package to upgrade to. And in other cases, you might see something like this that I have here, no remediation path available. In those cases, what that means, likely means rather, is that NPM removed that vulnerable version from the registry to prevent you from installing that version any further. So what you can do to take proactive action in this situation is look for the previous non-vulnerable version of that package in that project, and you can leverage Sneak Advisor to help you with that. Over at Sneak Advisor, which is sneak.io slash advisor, you can paste in the package name that you have here to search for it under the NPM option, find the exact match, which should be the first option here, and you scroll down and you'll see, in this case, I have a version 6.0.5 that I can pin to. Now the key there is to pin to that version while this attack is actively ongoing so you don't accidentally upgrade again to a newer version that might be malicious as well in this situation. After that, you can check out our blog post that we have on here that is actively being updated. In the blog, you'll find further details in the detection and triage section, as well as the immediate containment and remediation section. Using this information, you'll be able to report back internally to indicate whether your company is impacted by this attack and what remediation actions you're taking to resolve the issue while preventing further compromise. Be sure to check back often to the blog post for any updates from Sneak.